by the shores of Gitche Gumi, by the big sea shining water, Lake Superior, a lake of song and poetry. Lake Superior, a lake of epic proportions. With over 31,000 square miles, it is in surface area the largest freshwater lake in the world. Most of its northern shoreline is located in the Canadian province of Ontario. Its southern and western shorelines are divided among three states, Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Upper Michigan. Lake Superior, like the other four Great Lakes, is the result of massive glaciers moving southward from the North Pole. Pushing, grinding, gouging, these glaciers dug five deep basins into the Earth's crust. The last glacial stage in North America is called the Wisconsin Glaciation because it advanced to what is now the southern border of the state of Wisconsin. When this gigantic sheet of ice melted about 18,000 years ago, it was the beginning of the Great Lakes. The first inhabitants of the Great Lakes most likely crossed the land bridge between Asia and Alaska. These prehistoric nomads were the ancestors of the American Woods Indians who occupied these lakeshore forests when the first Europeans arrived during the 1500s. The several dozen tribes in the Great Lakes region were divided loosely into three large groups, Iroquois, Algonquin, and Sioux, and lived for the most part in small isolated villages. When the English first crossed the ocean, they settled along the Atlantic seacoast. The French, however, went inland and explored the interior. Cartier, Champlain, Brule, La Salle, Nicolette, Joliet, Father Hennepin, Father Marquette. Explorers and missionaries. They came to see what was there and who was there. But above all else, they came seeking a water route to China. In 1643, when Jean Nicolette reached the western shore of Lake Michigan, he was so sure he had reached the China mainland that he donned a Mandarin robe and bowed politely to the Indians who were there to greet him. <laughs> 